two main categories I think when we talk about targeted inhibitors for CLL and other B cell lymphomas are those that target important proteins along the B cell receptor signaling pathway. So that's example like a brutinib or a calibrutinib um, target BTK or Bruton's tyrosine kinase, which is one component of that pathway. Other important components are the PI3 kinase um, inhibitors also in signaling. Um, and they're approved as idelalisib, now duvalisib, and trials are TGR1202 um, and other um, PI3 kinase inhibitors. Now I use the broad category, but the caveat is there are different isoforms of PI3 kinase. Some of these are delta specific, some are gamma delta, and that'll be the difference you'll see if they're tested in CLL uh, versus um, other lymphomas. Separate from the B cell receptor pathway, we mentioned venetoclax and venetoclax trials that targets BCL2. Uh, it's a BCL2 inhibitor, which is an important anti-apoptotic protein. And in CLL, really, there is a a problem with accumulations. The cell don't die or don't have programmed cell death or apoptosis the way they should. So the idea of an inhibitor of anti-apoptosis is to tip the balance um, towards apoptosis. So um, slightly separate and again going back to combination trials is why it can be complementary with something in the B cell receptor signaling pathway.